first, I'm the realest. realest. Drop this and let the whole world feel it. Feel it. And I'm still in the murder business. I can hold you down like I'm giving lessons in physics. Ladies all across the world, listen up, we're looking for a cruise. If you're women, let me see your hands. Tell the salute. Get your killer heels, because pops always up your boots. Representing all the women, salute. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. So firstly you're going to grab a concealer, this is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Concealer. This concealer is going to be used for my blemishes, so I'm going to squeeze a bit onto my hand and I'm just going to cover my blemishes. Now you're probably thinking, Marina, why have you covered the whole of your face in concealer? Well, I have got really bad problem areas where I put that concealer. Um, I'm just going to kind of blend out the concealer using a Bobbi Brown full coverage brush. And I don't really want to move the concealer, so I'm just going to pat it just so it gets that extra coverage just so we have a nice flawless base to begin with step two is highlighting concealer so this time you want another concealer one which is lighter than your skin tone so you could go about two or three shades lighter than your skin tone and this is going to highlight your face and like bring light to your face I love the MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter Pen in Light Boost. It is amazing. Like when I want to feel radiated and like amazing, I will use this. But I'm not going to use this today. Um, but honestly, this is amazing. If you want something good, but you can do it with just an ordinary concealer. So I've got the NYX HD concealer. I will. I will be using the NYX. HD concealer in CW1. So with this I'm going to show you where you want to place this. So you want to make a triangular shape under your eye to begin with. Like so and then do the same on the other eye. And then I like to bring a strip down my nose. And I like to put it on my chin, on my cupid's bow, and then in the center of my forehead. And then I like to take a little bit just down here, like so. Then it's time for contour. So you can use a really dark foundation, Revlon photo ready do a really dark foundation which I've been using on clients lately for contouring it's amazing if you follow my Instagram there'll be a picture of one of my clients it looks amazing but on yourself um, I like to use the Revlon the one blush stick in matte Malibu it looks like this it's a stick so it's really easy for yourself so with this you want to go around the perimeter of your face and anywhere you want to bring in so for example you could do your nose or your cheekbones so I'm just going to draw on where I want to bring in. So that is what your cream contour should look like. And then in the excess areas I will put foundation. So here I've just got the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation and I'm just going to pump one pump into my hand and with my finger I'm literally just going to put that on the other areas where there is nothing basically. This is just going to give some extra coverage.
now we have everything on our face we want to start blending out so I like to use the Real Techniques Beauty blending sponge for the highlighting and then um, for the contour I like to use the Bobbi Brown full coverage face it's amazing so first we're going to work on the highlighter so I'm going to get my sponge and I'm literally I'm going to start under the eye and I'm just going to tap this without much pressure just where we have Put the highlighter I'll try and avoid all the other areas for now because we just want to blend out the highlight and you can like get the foundation with this it doesn't really matter because it's still light but you don't want to be getting brown like that all over your sponge and it can take quite some time but just keep pressing it into your skin and bouncing it off and it will look really flawless at the end. So that is basically the highlight all blended out. So now you can start with the contour. So I'm just going to carry on using this just for around the nose, um, but I will switch to the face brush just so you can see. Now I'm going to switch to the Bobbi Brown face brush and I'm just going to blend. So I'm just doing circular motions basically all around my face with this and then to get a more sharp line I'm just pressing under the contour with the sponge you can always put more concealer on this as well but that's gonna really help create a nice sharp line like that as you can see now I have got a lovely contour and highlighted look and you can leave it like this or you can set it or you can add more or less um, I am going to add a bit of cream blush today just to show you how you can work it in so this is elf hd blush in superstar with a stipple brush I'm literally just going to swirl it in my hand like this and then I'm just going to tap that on my cheeks just for a bit of colour. And then again, if it's a bit too much, just lightly tap over it with that sponge. Then I'm going to be using Benefits High Beam for a bit of kind of really bright highlighting. Shimmery highlighting, should I say? Should I say? I'm just gonna go up my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, and then my chin, Cupid's bow, whatever's left on the brush, on the forehead. And I'm going to use the Real Technique sponge just to blend that out. I have a love-hate relationship with these because they like dry so quickly. I think it's almost better to use your finger in a way. But to get rid of that, just put on a, um, what was I talking about, a highlighter on top. So that is it guys, that is how you cream contour on highlights. So as you can see, it looks really, really fresh and nice. Uh, I'm just going to finish my brows and add some lippy and then I'll be back for you guys. So I've just done my brows and my lips to kind of complete the look. The only thing I would set is under the eyes as that can crease. So I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I'm just going to take the banana shade. So anything kind of yellow toned or a translucent powder will work wonders. So 
you can set your face if you want to but if you're not a setting kind of person you don't need powders then honestly I think you will be good to go you can use a setting spray if you want I personally would go on top with a powder so I'm just gonna show you what that looks like but if you just want to stick to creams and powders then that is it like you can see the blush you can see the contour um, and the highlight and I hardly had to use any foundation with this look so if you're looking for that fresh kind of not really anything there then that is it but if you do want to add a powder I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia contour kit just because I have it at hand you can use any contour powder you want something that's going to be matte so I'm gonna take this shade here um, on a Real Techniques flat contour brush I think and I'm just going to lightly press, press that into the powder and then I'm just going to bring that down my jawline just to create a really really sharp line there and this will also like enhance the contour and then just whatever's left down my forehead and under my jawline so again you can add blush on top um, I think a highlighter would look lovely for a glowy highlight I'll be using the Peggy Sage mosaic highlighter this is stunning this is like a dupe for MAC soft and gentle so I'm just gonna put this on my cheekbones I'm going to put a bit down my nose, chin, keep it bow. And then of course you can set like this area of your face with a setting powder of your choice. There's one in the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit, you could use that. But I think it's good to go. I'm just going to use a setting spray. This is Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. And just shake it up. So instead of using a powder, you could just use this and it's giving a lovely little shine and it's really going to help keep the makeup in place so how simple was that like you don't even need a lot of products and it just looks lovely at the end really glowy and really perfect for summer so i really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did please give me a really big thumbs up please subscribe and please check out my description box for all my social media information if you feel like a nice person today please give me a follow on instagram and twitter um and facebook they'll all be linked down below so i really hope you enjoyed and i hope that you benefited from this video and i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you again so much for watching bye